Wendy Chamberlain. I'm president of the Middle East Institute, and it is my deep honor to have you all here. You know, this is, um, this is my very favorite event of the whole year. Uh, it's the one I love the most, and I love it the most because, because of you. Uh, each and every one of you, we consider a friend and supporter of the Middle East Institute. So if you could do me a favor, if, you, if now you could turn around and, and, and say hello to the person sitting next to you and just thank them for me for being a supporter of the Middle East Institute. Now you can do that. <laughs> And I, and, I, and I ask you to do that. I ask you to do that, and I ask you to thank each other for being friends and supporters of the Middle East Institute. Hello, and I thank you for being friends and supporters of the Middle East Institute because it's without your support, my amazing, competent, intelligent, beautiful, charming uh, staff could not accomplish everything that they do during the year, and I know you appreciate that too. Um, MEI, Middle East Institute. In all seriousness, I'd like to acknowledge the many dipl diplomats and dignitaries who are, who are here with us this evening. Uh, the Honorable Daryl Issa, Congressman from California. We'll never get through the list if you applause for each one. I know it's exciting, just let me run through it quickly. Uh, former Congressman uh, uh, Jim Moran of Virginia. The, I mean it, we're never going to get to this. This is uh, uh, the ambassadors of Afghanistan, the Arab League, Kuwait, Iraq, Jordan, Oman, Tunisia, the Palestinian Liberation Organization in Yemen. Uh, Lebanon and Libya are represented tonight by Charge d'Affaires. Deputy Chief of Missions from Croatia, Germany, Jordan, and Qatar. Uh, MEI extends a special warm um, welcome to Minister Fala Mustafa Bakir from the Kurdistan Regional Government. And the representative Bayan Sami Abdul Rahman, also from the uh, KRD. And finally, a very warm welcome to two mayors from Palestinian mayors from the West Bank. Now you can applaud. We, we, we really thank you, diplomats and dignitaries, for all that you do to keep diplomacy and dialogue alive between our two capitals. And I, and I especially want to thank our Board of Governors, many of whom are here this evening, uh, and uh, several members of our International Advisory Council, Tom Pickering, Shafiq Gabri, and George Corey. Corey, please applause. Once again, we're very appreciative of all the support, and particularly for those uh, corporations, for those individuals, and for the embassies that uh, support us monetarily to enable us, my wonderful, wonderful staff, to do all the work that they do throughout the year. Now, there really are too many to mention, but you'll see, when you're not seeing me, you'll see their logos up on the screens um, on both sides of this uh, hall. Tonight, we are honoring two very special individuals uh, who have created opportunities for people of the Middle East uh, so that they can personally achieve their personal, go well beyond their personal experiences and expectations and achieve their ambitions. Uh, Her Highness Sheikh Rahusa Sabah Al Salam Al Sabah. She's a cultural innovator, a driver of education and dialogue, and whose work is grounded uh, in the rich artistic heritage of Islam. Mr. Fadi Gandur.
is a business leader with a mission to nurture social entrepreneurship, community development, and his vision is to build a healthier, uh, richer communities throughout the region. You'll meet both of them here up here on this stage later in the evening, um, but uh, I thank you for helping me welcome them now. Before we get to the award ceremony, uh, a quick word about our terrific program, at least what's new uh, from last year. Many of you were here with us last year. Um, we're conducting a live fundraising auction during tonight's dinner with some very attractive items. Uh, so grab your credit cards. Uh, you, <laughs> and as you saw, we had a silent auction uh, during the reception, also uh, running some very attractive items that I'm sure you'll want to, uh, uh, to bid on. You know, because it's a win-win situation, these auctions. We, we do it for fun, but it's a win-win situation. You win some really interesting things, trips and, and uh, uh, experiences. And at the same time, we win because you're supporting the Middle East Institute and what we do uh, for the region. So uh, in a few minutes, you'll hear more about these two auctions from my good friend and board member, Ann Kaiser. But before we get to that, just a, a little note on what's new at the Middle East Institute. We're growing, we're ambitious, we're growing fast. Uh, as we look forward to the year ahead, I won't, I won't get into what we've done in the past, it's just a note on what we're doing ahead. We are uh, re doing a complete redesign of our website. It, it's gotten so chocker block full of all of the analysis and, and, and uh, op-eds op that uh, our 45 scholars have written. Uh, it's getting a little crowded. It's crowded with videos. It's crowded with podcasts. It's crowded with announcements on the uh, uh, two or three events that we hold every week. So it needs to be rationalized, and we've just contracted out, and so you'll be seeing a whole new look in a few months. And if you're walking down N Street, uh, you'll notice a lot of constructions going on. Uh, two of those buildings uh, is the MEI. It's sort of gutted, a big, big uh, hole in the back of our, our, of our building. It's completely gone beyond the fa facade. Uh, that reconstruction has begun, and it's really exciting. It will be finished in a little over a year. But to tell you more about our expansion campaign, MEI's uh, chairman, Dick Clark, and our campaign co-chair, Gail Dottie will also come on stage and uh, brief you uh, about the progress in our ambitions. 